to talk to you today about the right people. Who you spend your time with will have a great impact on what kind of life you live. There are people God has already ordained to come across our path to help us fulfill our destiny. People that inspire us, challenge us, make us better. The right people have already been lined up. But here's the key. If you're spending time with the wrong people, you'll never meet the right ones. If you're hanging around people that are not going any place, people that are dragging you down, causing you to compromise, draining your energy, then you're going to get stuck. You can't hang out with chickens and expect to soar with eagles. You're going to become like the people you continually associate with. You want to know what you're going to be like in five years? Look at your friends. If your friends are going places, have a spirit of excellence, kind, generous, courteous, then those qualities are going to rub off on you. I want to talk to you today. Birds of a feather flock together. My challenge is simple. Make sure you're flocking to the right group. Victorious people associate with other victorious people. Winners hang out with winners. But just because somebody is related to you doesn't mean they're connected to you. They may have your blood, but they don't have your spirit. They may not have heard the call God put on your life. And this doesn't make them a bad person. It just means God has a different assignment for them. Maybe they're at a different level in their growth, but they're not right for you for this season. This is one of the hardest things we have to deal with. Don't hold on to what God is asking you to walk away from. Another thought, you shouldn't spend a lot of time with people that are always negative, people that are constantly discouraged. You got to keep them cheered up, keep them fixed. And I'm all for helping people. I'm all for being a blessing. Sometimes we have to love people back into wholeness. But if you're always giving and never receiving, that's an unhealthy relationship. You need to gradually make a change. All right, motherfucker. You are about to enter sacred ground. You're about to enter the place where we do our thing, our arena. You're about to enter the gym, motherfucker. This is our place. This is where we put in our work. This is where we do what the fuck we do. Be proud of what you are. You are a motherfucking weightlifter. God damn it, be proud of being a weightlifter. There's nothing to be ashamed of, nothing to be here in the back closet. Motherfucker, you are a motherfucking weightlifter. And you're about to go into your realm to do your thing. I want you to reach down in your pocketbook, in your change purse, in your motherfucking coin purse. If you have to, dig in the bottom of your motherfucking sock where you hide your fucking intestinal fortitude at and pull that motherfucking shit out. Bring it up to the motherfucking surface. Now I want you to go into that goddamn arena. I want you to attack. Motherfucker, you act like the cage door has been open and you are a wild fucking animal about to be unleashed up on that motherfucking eye. You go in there, you take the fuck over. You take control. You, you dominate. You are the one that that motherfucking iron is afraid of. You, you are the monster. The motherfucking iron of the peasant running through the streets afraid of you. You are the motherfucker. This guy will kill you to death inside, inside of three rounds. Yeah. He's just another fighter. No, he ain't just another fighter. <laughs> this, this guy is a wrecking machine and he's hungry. Hell, you ain't been hungry. This guy will kill you to death inside, inside of three rounds. Yeah. He's just another fighter. No, he ain't. Lions stuff. Like you always talking about how sweet lions are. Did you know that lions sleep 20 hours a day and you telling me to be a lion? I was like, oh, wow, that's pretty sweet, bro. I'm grateful they sleep for 20 because if they was up. <laughs> if they was up any longer, wouldn't nobody even be out there. So God is good, like you sleep for 20. They got a mean four hours. Them four they up, they getting a lot done. And them four hours they up. They making it happen in the four. <laughs> they don't even need 10. You gave them boys 10, they might just wipe out all of Africa. They might be in the hut getting the humans to carry it off. They like, are right, we finished with all the animals? Let's go get them now. I'm like, bet, let them sleep. And so the story says that every single day when the gazelle wakes up, 
it realizes that in order for it to survive, it must outrun the fastest lion or the slowest gazelle. <laughs> I thought I might add that to my presentation. <laughs> like you ain't necessarily gotta beat the lion, you just beat them other gazelles. No, you missed it in the background, high school dropout, homeless, didn't meet my father until I was 30 years old, but I wake up every morning at three o'clock, why? Because you, you just gotta get there before the genius get there. You just gotta get there before the Magnum Cum Laude and the Summum Cum Laude get there. They ain't waking up to eight. So if you get up at three, you ain't gotta be smarter than them. You just gotta be quicker than them. You just gotta be faster than them. You just gotta get to the spot before they get to the spot. You ain't gotta be them. You ain't gotta be on their level. You don't have to be as smart. You don't have to become them. You can stay you, but you gotta get there before they get there if you gonna stay you. And so the gazelle like, I gotta go. And the lion knows that if it is to survive, it must catch the slowest gazelle or the weakest gazelle. Now this is deep, y'all, this is deep. Please, if you don't get anything else I'm saying, you have to get this concept of going all in. You have to get this beast mode. You, you, you gotta get this beast, I wanna show you. Let me show you. You gotta get this beast mode. You gotta embody beast mode. Everything about you has to say, I ain't playing. If it's to have, I'm gonna get it. And I ain't leaving none of it behind. It's mine. Beast mode. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. And so the gazelle is running and the lion is chasing it. And the story says, it doesn't make a difference if you're a gazelle or a lion. When the sun come up, ah, you better stop running. Now watch this, this is what's deep. Although the lion is the king of the jungle and can devour a gazelle, the gazelle ain't like, oh, I can't beat my man, so let me just go in. So let me lay down and let my man eat me. If the lion is gonna eat with his bad self, it still gotta grind. And what y'all getting confused is y'all don't think they grind. <laughs> y'all think they got here chilling. Or y'all think they used to grind and when they got here they stopped grinding. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I was grinding already. And then when I saw that Tony Robbins was only three speakers ahead of me. Ah, ha, 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 you thought I was grinding at first. When I saw my man in the distance, I said I was a high school dropout. I was homeless. How I catch Tony? <laughs> Tony, you better run. And you better run fast. Cause your boy E.T., I'm coming to get it. I'm coming to get it. I'm coming to get it. And your problem is not this opportunity. Your problem is not this business. Your problem is you a gazelle fronting like you a lion. Your problem is you a giraffe fronting like you a lion. Oh, let me tell you something, you can front until you get in the jungle. <laughs> you can front until you get in the jungle. And once you get your butt dropped off in that jungle, the real you got